For 30 odd years, there's been only one truly blue-blooded off-roader, the Range Rover. It might not have started life with that intention, but it quickly grew into the role, and the latest model fits it better than ever. Whatever Porsche, Volkswagen, and BMW might think, the Range Rover remains the aristocrat in this class. One of the great things about the Range Rover is its stately demeanor wherever you drive it. It's equally at home commuting to the city, on cross-continent dashes, or tiptoeing its way across a grouse moor. And if you want to tow a boat or a horse box, it'll do that too. It's not quite as serene as a limousine, but it handles remarkably well for a large high-sided off-roader and stirs up surprisingly little wind flutter too. Both petrol engines started life as Jaguar units that Land Rover has adapted to its needs. The three-litre turbo diesel is a BMW unit, although a change is in the offing there. The diesel is best for your bank balance, but delivers more rumble into the cabin and doesn't have the overtaking verve of the petrols. All make the Range Rover a superb swift cruiser, but the V8 suits it best. Just step aboard, and you do have to climb into the Range Rover, and you'll see why it's so baronial. You sit throne-like in the driver's seat and have a commanding view of all around and beneath you. There's a full range of adjustment for your imperious perch and every possible luxury at your command, though some of the switch gear is small and fiddly. Access to the back isn't quite as dignified because of the shape of the wheel arch, and you'd certainly get more room in a luxury saloon. But the accommodation is more than adequate. And the vast boot with the signature split tailgate has more than enough space for the Fortnum and Mason hamper and shooting sticks, or whatever else you might want to put in there. If running costs are any sort of consideration, you're looking at the wrong car. Give or take, this is a £50,000 car that will struggle to do 25 miles per gallon, even with a diesel engine. It does a lot less than that with a V8, and the insurance bills are just as high, though a low-cost five-year servicing package helps to free up a bit of money for looking after the old stately home. If your car is company-supplied, monthly contract hire rates will be high, and so will your personal tax liability. But none of this will come as a shock to people who might otherwise have had a luxury saloon, and resale values of Range Rovers are reasonable for the V8 and good for the diesel. Quite simply, there isn't a more luxurious all-roads 4x4 in existence. If you want limousine luxury with an off-roader's high driving position and go anywhere, do anything capability, then stop right here.